Hey everybody, it's Engineering in Heels here. Um, today I'm going to do my long-awaited actual review of the Brian Atwood Arizona collaboration in his FM pump. So if you watched my unboxing video last week or saw me on Instagram, you probably noticed that I had somewhat unbridled joy about this. Um, I'm still really excited that I was able to um, purchase these heels. So I'll kind of do a rundown of what happened and how I was able to come by them, and then we'll just kind of go into actually um, what I think about the heels and all that kind of stuff. So I've always liked the Arizona green tea with this print for a long time. I've drank it for a long time. So I was really um, excited to see Brian Atwood put these shoes out as a collaboration a couple years ago, but I never thought that I'd be able to buy them. I figured they'd be prohibitively expensive or maybe just made for a shoot. Um, sometimes, you know, designers will do that. So I kind of filed that away and didn't think about it. But for whatever reason, it came back up into my mind a couple weeks ago, and I thought, you know what? Why not um, just email his client services team? So you can basically email Brian's client services team, and they will look in their archives for you and see if they have any shoes. Or a lot of his more um, rare shoes, you go ahead and buy through them. So that's what I was able to do. So I just gave him an e or shot them an email and said, hey, um, I know it's been a couple years, but do you have any of the FM pumps uh, in the, the Arizona print? Because I would love them. And I fully expected them to come back and just basically be like, no, like, of course those were sold out or like, no, we only made, you know, a few pairs for models or whatever. And that was it. They got right back to me because they're awesome. And they said, we have two sizes left. So I said, what sizes? And then I waited for what seemed like forever. Um, and they came back and said they had a 40 and a 41. So for those of you that have watched or followed me for a long time, you know that I'm usually a 39 or a 39 and a half true to size. But of course, as soon as they said they had a 40, I was like, close enough, I want them. So I was able to purchase them um, and they arrived within a couple days. Um, as you saw in the unboxing video, I was really, really impressed with the whole packaging. There was Arizona themed tissue paper, the box was Arizona themed, and then there was a note from Brian Atwood himself, which was super cool. So I was very happy about all of that. It was an absolute joy, as I said, to open them. And I just love these shoes. So let's get more detail on the shoes. You can see here, um, we're showing off the print. So the shoe construction, it is a mint green kind of leather um, inside. I can probably pop my foot out for you guys. So yeah, there's a mint green leather inside. And then it's overlaid with what I think is like a satin which is really cool. So the print is actually on the satin itself and that covers the whole heel. And then the bottoms here you can see are kind of a natural color. Um, so yeah, I'll try and show that off for you. So yeah, I really like the texture is super cool with that like satin overlay. And I really like it kind of gives almost a soft appearance to the shoes versus it would be a lot more shiny um, if they were in just leather. And I was wondering too, if it was painted on, um, he actually showed like a kind of a Strauss pair as well. So I think they made a couple iterations of this. Anyway, this is what I got. Um, if you didn't hear in the unboxing video, this is one of eight pairs in the whole world. I was able to get <laughs> one of eight pairs of these. Super duper cool, I'm super happy. You know I like to collect rare and uber tall heels. So as far as the height, these are 130 millimeters. They are actually taller than my other FM pump because they are a bigger size. So if you didn't know, heel height is variable based on your shoe size, which I think is like something that blows people mind, people's minds when I tell them. So a lot of times, like if you see a shoe measured on Nordstrom, for instance, uh, the heel height may be measured in something like a seven and a half, whatever, like the average or like standard size is. And they'll even tell you, they'll be like, Heel height, 120 millimeters for a size 38, for example. So yeah, I have not measured these officially yet, so I will maybe pop the measurement in here when I do. Um, but they definitely feel taller, which of course makes them a little bit harder to walk in. Um, I would say that these are nearly as hard to walk in as the Hot Chick, and the Hot Chick is my baseline for the hardest shoe I walk in, right? So most everything I wear is easier to walk in than a Hot Chick, like other than maybe a ballet heel. But these are pretty close. Um, I would say that they are quite steep. And <clears throat> the other thing is that the toe on these is super duper long and pointy. So I'm actually really glad I got these in a 40 because my foot actually fits fairly snugly in these, which I was surprised. I thought I might have some gap. You know I don't like heel gaps. So as much, much, um, I would much, much prefer them to be a little bit snug. I'm sure that these will stretch out. Um, my 39s have definitely stretched out to be 
pretty much perfect on my foot. So if these do end up stretching out too much, I will put in either like a ball of foot padding to bring the heel or the, the foot back a little bit in the shoe or just a little heel pad right here. Other than that, I love the design of these. I think these are such an underrated pump. I wish that there were more styles of these out there. Um, I wish more manufacturers put these out there. I wish Brian Atwood would put these out there more. I just think it is such a classic style, but it's got that little bit of like a fetish twist to it just because it's so tall. So definitely very, very happy with all of that. A um, little hard to style these, I would say, just because they are so, um, floral and crazy. So I am looking around. I'm hoping to get something Arizona themed to go with them because I feel like you just have to do that, right? So like, I mean, there's all sorts of things out there. Brian Atwood's uh, picture that used these, like she had on like a full like suit that had Arizona print on it, which was super cool. But I just went with things that are complimentary. So obviously white pants are going to look good with these black pants, you know, solid colors. But then I did kind of pull out the pink in the shoes and put my pink top on. So I think it looks pretty good. Very happy with how these look. I think they do show off the arch of the foot pretty well. Also, sometimes with pumps, you'll find that this like sidewall like comes up really high and then you don't see the arch. But I feel like this looks actually pretty good. So let me just twist around and show them to you guys. Definitely love them. They're fun to walk in, even if they are a little bit um, you know, I'm still kind of learning how to walk in these. I've only had these on. This is my second time I've had these on. So I put them on for the unboxing video. I took some pictures in them and then I put them away because I was scared to, you know, mess them up. But you know me, I like to wear my heels even if I completely destroy them. I am a little worried since it is satin that it's going to get dirty um, faster than leather. So I will definitely report back on that if that happens. And hopefully I'll find a way to either like protect the outer layer of these heels or clean them up. And I will do my best to not step in any cracks. I tend to, when I walk in heels like this, always get them caught in a crack like that and then just completely shred the heel. I've caused a lot of damage. So anyway, I hope you guys like this. Um, again, this is the Brian Atwood um, Arizona collaboration. Super cool. Very happy I was able to get these. And this is a great segue for Patreon. Patreon was able to make this possible with their monthly support of me. So I wouldn't have been able to just spring for these heels on a whim without them. So thank you to all of my current patrons. You guys are all amazing. And ladies, we've got some ladies too. Um, if you haven't thought about supporting me, supporting us on Patreon, please think about it. Your um, contributions go directly toward things like heels and camera stuff, um, you know, so I can make my content better for you. And then if you don't follow me on Instagram, I'm at Engineering and Heels. And then please subscribe here on YouTube. We're going to continue to make you super cool videos.